Shelly, it is so nice to see you. Oh my gosh, it has been wild to say the least. Today is actually Halloween. We just had our party last Saturday. It was a blast. I didn't get many pictures or video. I just got footage of all of my balloons and all my decorations and stuff and a little bit of the dessert table, but I didn't even get a chance to get any footage of the food that we cooked or anything like that or everyone in their costumes. By the time that I got everything set up, it was just, everything just started going and it just didn't stop. So I didn't, I didn't get hardly anything. So I'm trying to get some friends to send me some footage of what they might've gotten. So we'll see if I am able to include that in this video. Happy Halloween. I'm gonna try and do this video a little bit more casual this time since I started this channel. I don't think that I've ever had my house this messy where I did a cleanup video, but somebody had requested uh, for my daughter's birthday if I was gonna do a cleanup video afterwards and I didn't do it because my husband had already taken down all of the decorations and stuff, so I never got footage of that. But I didn't even really know that that was a thing, that people like to watch people take down all their decorations and clean up. So I'm definitely going to be taking down the decorations and putting things away and cleaning up and putting things back where it goes. Let me see if I can get this out. I'm still so tired. This weekend has been so wild. Like, we got a lot going on this weekend. That's why I look like I do. <laughs> anyway, so I was saying, I'm going to try and see what I could fit all in this video. I'm going to do all the cleanup and stuff and I'm gonna take you along with me I'm gonna do it more of like talking style instead of voiceover which I hardly ever get to do because I have always somebody in the house and it's just easier uh, for noise distraction to do a voiceover instead but today since there really isn't anybody here I figured I could probably do that so you guys can get to know me better so I feel like you guys only get to see what I do and not get to see the person behind the camera and you guys don't really get to know who I am. I've been doing YouTube for almost two years now. February is gonna mark two years on YouTube and I'm only about halfway there to getting monetized. So I'm thinking maybe it's because you guys wanna see who I am and get to know the real me. So we're gonna try and do this one a little bit more laid back. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know where to start. <laughs>
bottles back into the cabinet here. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking down all these balloons so I can get all of my stuff put away. I'm going to organize it in there as best as I can because everything is out of whack right now with all of everything that I had done over the weekend. So I have to like kind of organize a little bit as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that and then yeah, we'll see what happens afterwards. <laughs> I know that I said that I wasn't going to do a voiceover in this video, but it's really hard to clean and also talk at the same time. I want to interact with you guys face to face. I don't want my back towards you while I'm talking to you, but basically I'm just taking down these balloons and it's bittersweet. I was so sad that I had to take these balloons down because it was so time consuming putting them all up. I had a blast doing it and they came out so good this time. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to do balloon arches and stuff like that, so this is still kind of new to me. I didn't really do balloons in the past, so taking them down was hard for me, and they were still so full and so beautiful. I had a really hard time popping them and getting rid of them. I also had a really hard time wanting to take down these wall stickers. They were just so cool, and my kids really liked them, so when I had to take off the haunted house, I was so heartbroken. I was like, man, I wish I could keep these up all year long, but of course it's time to take them down. After taking everything down, my house looks so boring. I didn't ever realize how boring my house looked without all these decorations on. It made me feel inspired to go to the Dollar Tree and like create pictures or something to put up on my walls so that my walls weren't so empty. I never really was one to decorate my house, even when me and my husband first got together. We didn't decorate anything. We didn't have pictures on the walls or anything. So I'm thinking maybe I might start doing that. I might have like all year round stuff for each season. That way I can continue with decorations throughout the year and not just during the holiday seasons. I really liked this backdrop, it was super cool. I got it off Amazon. So next time you're having a party like this, check out Amazon. Sometimes they have a lot more stuff that you can find that you can't find at Walmart or Party City. It was in four different pieces or five different pieces, and so you had to tape them up individually, but they look super cool, especially with the strobe light hitting it. It made it look like it had lightning on the background. So it was super cool, and I didn't want to take it down either, but I did save it. So when I, as I was taping, as I was pulling the tape off, I made sure to be really careful with it so that I could save it for next year. So I have all of these balloons that need to be popped and uh, the kids like to do that. So I'm, I'm gonna toss these into my kids' room and later on they're gonna take them outside to pop them all. If I put them outside now, it's possible that the wind will take them. So I'm just going to put them all in my kids' room, and when they get home from school, I'm going to have them take them out there, and I'm going to have them stomp on them. So let's just, let's just do that now. So hopefully that came out right. I don't know if it did or not. All right, um, now I'm going to go ahead and sweep the floor and mop before I bring my table back over here. I 
it again Wish you a glance for just a moment Hard as hell, unnatural She doesn't care for picture perfect Okay, I think I'm finally getting somewhere. Sorry, I forgot to turn the TV on mute, but anyway, um, I'm finally getting somewhere. Things are starting to like come together and get put away and stuff. So I'm gonna get started on the kitchen and pick up as much as I can. I don't think I'm gonna be showing you me doing dishes and stuff like that, but just picking up and getting the kitchen done. My stove is so dirty because we fried some chicken. We made cornflake chicken for our party, so it is super greasy from all of that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some oven cleaner and I'm gonna spray it. I learned this on someone else's YouTube channel. I don't remember whose channel it is. <coughs> but be very careful because it's very, very strong. And um, you don't want to breathe in these chemicals, so I'm just going to spray it and then I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap. And then you're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour so that it lifts up all the grease and then you can scrub it with a scrubber and then wipe it down with some cleaner. So we'll come back to that later. I've mentioned this in my videos before. I really like to use these Brillo pads that I get from the Dollar Tree. Even though that they raised the price price to a dollar twenty-five, they're still in it becoming cheaper. I've compared the pricing and they're um, just a bit cheaper. So I still get these one from the Dollar Tree. And you can use them for so many things. You could use them for cleaning your pots and pans as long as it's not Teflon. You could use it for sinks. You could use it for your stove. There's so many uses for them. They come in handy all the time. So basically, you know, you just use it to scrub and it does a pretty damn good job. Whatever soap that they use in it, it's tough enough on grease. You give my life color, color, You give my life color, color, give my life color. You give my life color. And with a minute, you have a really nice clean kitchen sink. I am trying very hard to be lively in this video and I'm sorry if I look ragged but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and head back to the stove and finish off there and I think the kitchen is just almost done. I'm just going to be sweeping and mopping. I won't be filming that. But one day when I decide to clean my grout and I show you how I do that, then we'll go back and, and I'll show you how I do that. But for now, let's just get what we need to get done and be done with it. See how it pulls up all the grease? Now my stove is never going to come clean like brand new again because I just found this technique. It's not really dirty, it's just it's, it's stained from using it so much. There's only so much cleaning I can do, but this does help. gotta take everything out of the tr the bathrooms and clean it all up my kids were taking a bath and I guess they left their clothes and the towels on the floor so I'm just gonna come in here and just take everything off I'm not gonna even really film doing this because it's kind of awkward bringing my tripod in here So 
So I got two bags of trash, which isn't so bad considering how big of a mess that I had. I don't know why I decided to share that with you, but this right here is what I really wanted to share with you. I did this a couple of weeks ago. I got so tired of all of my trash like spilling over to the back of my cabinet here. And no matter what I did, I could not get it clean and I couldn't scratch it off without scratching the paint. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these backsplashes. Now, I did have to cut them to size. So they are exposed on this side. So what I did was I took some double-sided tape that I found from the Dollar Tree to close it up. But now this is so much easier to keep it clean. I could easily wipe it down with just regular all-purpose Lysol cleaner and it comes clean and I don't have to worry about seeing goopy trash behind my trash bin. So here's all of my decorations. Basically, I have all of my lights and my candles and all of my decorational stuff like spider webs and stuff like that, backdrops. I'm gonna somehow get all of this stuff into these four bins. Wish me luck. Well, my battery died, so I wasn't able to show you how I packed everything, but just as I suspected, there really isn't enough room for all this stuff, so I'm going to have to get another bin eventually. But I put it all neatly like this so that my husband can come and put it all away when he gets home and organize it in the storage for me. <laughs> my room is still a mess. I had to stop. I got everything done in the living room. Everything is clean. But my kids got home and it's time to get ready to go trick-or-treating. So I have to stop here for now. I'm going to get ready. We're going to go and take the kids. So enjoy these next few clips of us as a family and enjoying Halloween. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm going to go get ready. is flared up wish I could say I felt better today but unfortunately I don't I just cannot can't, I cannot shake off this tiredness whatever this is um, I don't know but I'm, I'm working through it so we're getting somewhere I'm in my bed I don't know if you guys do that do you guys make your bed every day I do I, I cannot get started without making my bed usually I get up around 5 a.m. every morning sometimes 4 30 and I make my bed before I even get my kids ready for school anyway I got so much left to do but it's not as much as yesterday so i gotta get started i got this <coughs> and this <coughs> let's go ahead and finish up with today's chores and call it a day
Remember these Halloween houses that we built? Oh my gosh, I love these things. I'm putting them away. Um, I usually do every year because I like to take them out every year for Halloween season. Um, I don't think this next year I'll buy new ones because there's still a whole lot to color on them. And I'm not sure if they're even gonna have any new ones out there. So I, I like that I'm able to put them away and then work on them every year. So I'm finally putting them away and I'm going to be putting them in another bag because the bag that it came with ripped. So what I did is I had a leftover bag from the Dollar Tree that is meant to put like blankets and stuff in it. And then you hook a hose up to it and it sucks all the air out. But I don't have that vacuum anymore that has the little hose connection. So I'm just gonna squeeze out as much air as I can and put them away in storage. So they're really, really durable and easy to use. So go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself some if you wanna store something like this in your storage. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> So we got back too late from trick-or-treating. By the time we got back, we had to eat and get the kids showered and ready for bed. So we didn't get to popping all the balloons, so I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna take the video out there though because it's kind of windy and I don't want my camera to get messed up. So I'm just gonna take them out there and I'm just gonna pop them like I did yesterday and clean up the mess. Hi right, guys, so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging on the end of my video like that. So I figured I would hop over here and just do an outro for you guys. I have a few things that I like to say. First of all, thank you. If you guys are still here watching this video, I really truly appreciate you guys and your support. I am almost there to being monetized. I have almost all of the hours that I need. You need 4,000. I'm at 3,100 right now. I do need a little bit of help with more subscribers. I am at 385 subscribers right now. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what I would advise you guys to do is to maybe go onto my playlist and check out all of my content on here and see if I relate to you in some way. Uh, my content is mainly geared towards stay-at-home moms or people who enjoy watching others decorate for parties or decorate cakes and cookies and stuff like that. I do more than just that. I, I have said many times in many of my videos that I'm a woman. I'm a woman of many trades. I do many things and I'm just here to help you know support and motivate any mom out there that needs any help of any kind so if you guys have any video suggestions that you'd like to see in the future please by all means tell me what you would like to see next I also have a Instagram if you guys want to see me on Instagram I'll put my name here on the screen for you guys if you're interested in following me there I also have a TikTok. I'm hardly ever on any of my other social medias only because I am still kind of new at this all this time I have been trying to keep it professional, but I, I've been told by many people to kind of keep it a little bit more laid back and show more of my personality, which is what I'm trying to do today because I'm really trying to get my channel monetized by the end of the year or early next year. It's just a waiting game and I'm trying to be patient and if anything, the only thing that I can say is that at least I have all of, all of these videos to look back on and I, I still do from time to time go back and watch these videos with my kids and they get excited so you know even if I don't get monetized at least I have that and also my sister gets to see her niece and nephews and my mom gets to see her grandchildren so that's what keeps me going on YouTube even though it's been a long journey for me at least I have family and friends that watch and I am I feel truly blessed by all those who have supported me along the way so I can't thank you guys enough for being here and watching my videos and supporting me and thinking that I might have potential here sometime soon I want to continue growing this channel and and investing into it so I can do more but until then it is just I'll just wait I'll just wait it out I had so much fun this Halloween season I got to do a lot more than I did last year, so I am so happy with how everything turned out, not with just this party, but just everything in general that had to do with Halloween. I got to do a lot more videos this year than I did last year. I try to have fun with it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed all of the videos that I posted. So here's a recap of this Halloween season for you guys. I hope you enjoy these next clips.
able to do a lot and believe it or not everything that I did was mainly on a budget all of the decorations I got were from the Dollar Tree and uh, Walmart and a little bit from Party City so all of the decorations and everything was budget friendly so maybe next year I'll have my party earlier in the season so that I can share my party with you guys but I really hope that you guys enjoyed the footage that I did get and you guys got any inspiration or motivation from that and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video where I showed you the aftermath and the mess left behind and me cleaning it up. I guess that is it for now. Um, thank you so much for being here. Be safe out there. Always stay blessed and always remember to shine bright and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.